Knitting, the hobby exclusive to old grannies and desperate housewives. All of us have at least one hideous sweater given to us by our grandma. False. Knitting is a hobby shared by young, old men and women. It's so cool, people study its chemical properties. Really? Well, I'll let you explain it. Great! In order to knit, you'll need knitting needles and yarn. Knitting needles can be made out of wood, plastic, aluminum, steel, and bamboo. There are three main types of needles, sticks, connected, and double-pointed. Each are used for different kinds of projects. Yarn can be made out of wool, cotton, alpaca, and a variety of other substances. We will focus on wool. Wool comes from sheep. Wool is made up of keratin, grease, suet, and other impurities. Keratin is a type of protein, and there are three types of proteins that make up wool. Intermediate filament proteins, or filament proteins. Intermediate filament associated proteins, or matrix proteins. And there are also high tyrosine glycine proteins, but we'll ignore those. The filament and matrix proteins cross-link together. This link causes the mechanical properties of wool. The stretching causes the alpha helixes to extend into beta pleated sheets. The disulfide bond in the matrix causes the wool to retract and recover, similar to rubber. A protective layer of scales surround these cells. This structure is similar to high-class climbing rope where coil bundles are coiled and surrounded by a protective sheet. Knitting has existed for thousands of years. The oldest knitted object is a pair of socks that dates back to 11th century Egypt. Knitting developed over the years to reflect different cultures. The Scottish developed Fair Isle that was made popular by the Prince of Wales. The Irish developed intricate patterns of cables and twists known as Erin. Often these sweaters were not cleaned of all the wool's natural oils to protect sailors from the elements. The cables would form pockets of air holding in warmth. One myth says that you can identify a body by the pattern of its cables. For more information and for more student projects, go to chemistryislife.com.